Well, you've made it to the end of your course, and I'm excited to just give you um, a last-minute um, kind of a hurrah, an encouragement to move forward in your studies and, and not to give up. Um, some of you have a lot to do. You maybe waited to the end to um, work on your assignments, and, and, and maybe this will be a good time for you to reflect and regather um, some mo momentum as you think about the next course you're going to take. How am I going to plan better? How am I going to approach the class? What do I need to learn from this class that will help me for the next? Um, so I want to talk about four areas, four areas that you can think about in your Christian maturity. And the first one I want you to focus in here is on community. Um, I want you to pursue love. I want you to, to um, love unity. I want you to think about your local um, church as a place where you can um, grow and mature in Christ. Um, this call to love in John chapter 13 is very clear. He says, a new commandment I, I give to you, love one another as I have loved you. You also must love one another. And unity, my prayer, Jesus says, is not for them alone. I pray also that those will be who believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you sent me. And, and ultimately, community um, gets us to that element that we're together, we're working together. And I know in a self-paid class, you're, you're often by yourself and you're just working with that instructor. Um, but you're also a part of a community called the church. And then character. I think character is important as every class is refining character, refining sanctification, and that you're growing in your holiness and your maturity in Christ. And and so God calls us to holiness. He says, be holy for I am holy. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 45, and 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 16. Um, we're indwelt by the Holy Spirit, and He is producing fruit in us. And as Galatians 5, verse 22 through 23, um, share with us. And, and so you should be focusing on some habits here of growth, and you should main, maintain some disposition of I want to obey God, and I want to show, show to others self-control, and I want to participate, and I want to um, get my projects done on a on a on-time basis and not fall behind. And also, areas of character focus on conscience, and and, and am I submitting things um, correctly, and am I lying or cheating on a test, and all those elements come into play within a self-paced class. And and then there's commission. I want you to think about this class as giving you the necessary information and the encouragement to think about the Great Commission even even more broader than maybe where you um, entered in the class with uh, maybe just a box. And some classes are very missional-minded. Other classes are getting you to focus on maybe a biblical text. And But um, ultimately, God is a, a God of disciple-making, and He is encouraging us to be disciple-makers as well. And you are familiar with with uh, Matthew chapter uh, 28, 18 through 20, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, therefore go and make disciples of all nations. Maybe from this class, you might be able to take something away and say, okay, I'm going to invest in someone else. I'm going to invest in and mentor someone who needs disciple making in their life. And then ultimately, this commission is sending you to the ends of the earth. It's preparing you for something on the other side of graduation. You are being prepared um, for ministry, preparing for a skill. And then what I want to close is that um, the, the center of our, of our learning is this matter of communion with God, um, that you are um, growing in your likeness um, of the Savior, and you're, you're wanting to know the, God, the Lord of the universe, and you want to know Him deeply and profoundly. And so um, communion with God is... Not just loving my neighbor, but loving God with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and moving toward habits that would develop um, a, uh, a spiritual life, such as in prayer and Bible study, meditation. Those are those spiritual disciplines that can help us with our communion with God. It goes deeper, and so we're talking about our spiritual life here, and uh, hopefully the, the class that you just studied brought you to um, that communion element, that you're growing in your walk with the Lord. You've been challenged to think differently because you've been in the biblical text. You've been stretched um, to think broader. 
um, and yet um, hopefully um, you've not been discouraged along the way. If you have further questions, get in contact with me. We'd love to talk with you some more about how God can continue to shape you as you move um, into um, maybe some more free time, and then you're waiting to start sign up back up um, as a full-time student.